The physical internet is about shipping freight, just like information flows over the internet. Huh? But do you truly know how that works? Did you ever wonder what route your email takes? Who owns the servers that relay your message? Or which internet provider is used by your receiver? Probably not. And you don't have to. You rely on the internet to securely deliver your message to the receiver. Imagine a world where your message is a physical object and you are the sender or the receiver. To ship physical objects, you use the physical internet. Just like the network of servers form the internet, a network of hubs forms the foundation of the physical internet. A physical internet hub sends and receives products. Products may pass several hubs in this manner. Final delivery leaves from the hub closest to the receiver. Products moving over this open and interconnected network belong to many different parties, who have in common that they are users of the physical internet. In this way, the physical internet is enabling full horizontal and vertical collaboration. Shipments are optimized for the whole network. This requires a constant quest for the perfect capacity use of the network. Let's look at the following example. A Spanish wine producer exports her wines to Canada, Scandinavia and Asia. When a Norwegian business connection orders 1,000 bottles of wine, the wine producer knows she can use the physical internet. No need to look for optimizing the load or finding out the routing for the best service and lowest cost. The physical internet will take care of all that. But the physical internet does not only look at collaboration in transport. It also unlocks collaboration opportunities for warehouses and decentralizing stocks. Therefore, in this example, through the physical internet the wine producer will be able to store wines closer to the point of consumption. Just like the internet servers host data from different owners, the physical internet warehouses connected to the hubs will store goods from different owners to enable faster shipment. To realize the physical internet, we'll also look at modular packaging, how to efficiently share information between partners and at improved business models. Physical internet will not be realized today, but it is the way forward to create a more efficient and sustainable supply network for our global logistics in 2050.